We see this this father, right, who didn't make some good decisions, but mm. at the end of the day, was loved his son so much that he's willing to do whatever it takes to allow his son to be who he is, yeah. right? Um, what about you? Is there a time where you look back and like your dad just did something that was made an, kind of an important turning point or something for you within your life? You know, I think it's uh, in the the moment where Desmond tells his father, "I'm I've already enlisted," and I and I go, "I have to go and serve." It's like if there was an umbilical cord between father and son, which there is, but it's just invisible and imaginary. Mm -hmm. it, it, that's the moment of cutting. And it's a, a vital step, I think, in terms of um, the journey from boyhood to manhood. There is a betrayal that has to happen between father and son mm -hmm. in order for a new um, relationship to, to be created. That's my experience anyway. So, so, so for me, Desmond's life up to that point had been very focused on attempting to heal his father's unhealable wounds mm -hmm. and his inability to do that with a traumatized, alcoholic, um, ragey, abusive, violent father. And then you see his actions on the battlefield. And I like to think that every man that he's treating and healing has some semblance of his father's face. Mm -hmm. That yearning, that unmet yearning to heal his father translated into these mir miraculous things that he did on the battlefield. He wouldn't have been able to um, do the things he did without having that particular father with that particular wound. I think that's something kind of so beautiful, that idea that next to our greatest wounds are our greatest gifts. I mm -hmm. think that's a, a wonderful idea. Yeah. Nice.